Let's turn now to one of my favorite countries to talk about. You guessed it, Turkmenistan. <laughs> That's right, all my Turkmen's in the audience say, hey, love you guys. Hey! Oh, wow, you're not Turkmenistani. <laughs> Cultural appropriation. Now, you may not know this, but for the last 12 years, Turkmenistan has been ruled by this man, Gurbanguly Berdi Mohamedov. He is a dictator <laughs> with a poor record on human rights, and for the last few weeks, there have been rumors that he is actually dead. But before you celebrate this ruthless dictator's demise, you might want to think again. Whispers about the health of Gurbanguly Berdi Mohamedov began swirling in July after he hadn't been seen in public for weeks. But now the country's state broadcaster has aired a 25-minute report showing him carrying out multiple tasks. They range from bowling and horse riding to composing music and driving a rally car. <laughs> OK, this is so amazing. Instead of the president coming out and just saying, I'm not dead, <laughs> he decided to cast himself in the amazing race? Is that what this is? <laughs> like, like, what is he doing? <laughs> because you realize, none of this proves that he's alive, right? A video of someone in a music studio doesn't mean that they're currently alive. <laughs> I can show you a video of Tupac in a music studio, and he's not alive. Or is he? <laughs> Now, there are a couple of things you have to know about President Gurbanguly Berdi Mohamedov. One, <laughs> his natural enemy is the name tag. And <laughs> secondly, <laughs> secondly, he's basically turned his whole country into a cult of personality. Everything he does as leader is about showing off how perfect he is, how everyone loves him, how everything he does is tremendous. And I'm sure Americans can't relate to this, but that's how it works <laughs> over there. You know, those third world countries. And that's what makes the state TV footage so amazing. For example, he could have just showed himself bowling. No, 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 that's, that's not enough. Bowling is not enough. Right? Just watch how state TV edited the bowling footage to make him look super cool. Basketball ve volleyball meydançalarını yüdüleyen kovulları, tenis kortları ve beylikleri öğüt sınavya. Başka vaatta ehli ahmetlikleri öğütünü zemleyen Olimpiya şakarcılık kereke diye. Wow. Wow. Amazing, amazing. Such amazing bowling by such a living person. Yay! That was some of the worst editing ever. The ball is clearly heading towards the gutter, and then all of a sudden it cuts to a strike. It doesn't even look like the same lane. And I know what you're saying right now. You're like, oh, Trevor, you're just jealous because he's more athletic than you. No, okay, I'm super athletic. Watch this. You guys, you guys ready? I'll show you my athleticism. Do this thing. Let's do this. <laughs> See that? Swish, swish, I'm alive, bish. And the perfect bowling wasn't even close to the craziest part of the footage State TV put out because at one point in the video, he gets into a car, drives across the desert, and then does this. Okay, Turkmenistan, the good news is that your president might be alive. The bad news is that your country is being swallowed by hell. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> so those are the clips Turkmenistan State TV has released to prove that their leader is still alive. And you know what? We shouldn't be surprised by how crazy these clips are because this guy's actually known for putting out the best propaganda videos we've ever seen. My favorite, personally, is this one released a few months ago of him and his grandson rocking out. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's the new Old Town Road, baby. <laughs> this guy does it all. He sings, he plays guitar, he has weird sexual tension with his grandson, everything. <laughs> so. That's the latest news from Turkmenistan. We don't know if the president is really dead or alive. 
What we do know is he's definitely killing it on the charts.